So with the COVID-19 virus, it certainly seems that the uh, people with uh, cardiovascular disease or heart disease, as well as diabetes uh, and high blood pressure are at higher risk of both acquiring the disease and also acquiring it in more severe form. The way it gets into the cells to cause the disease, it binds to this receptor called ACE2 and there is a lot of it in the lungs and that's how it causes the lung problems but also there is a lot of it in the heart as well. That is one thought and the way it affects the heart is there are two main theories. One, in a, very, in a much smaller group of people it can affect heart directly similar to how some of the other viruses can present with heart failure or significant heart damage. But the more common presentation is because people with heart disease are already sort of their body is under strain, their heart only has more limited ability to cope with extra strain on their health and so having a major illness like coronavirus um, puts this extra strain on the heart and they tend to develop the sort of worsening of the heart condition later in the course of the disease. So on top of the heart issues that we talked about, there's cancer itself which makes people generally more susceptible to infections and cancer therapy not infrequently makes those people more immunocompromised and even more susceptible. So it's a double whammy unfortunately and so the big message to these people really to take heed of what the um, our government and what our health authorities are saying is to try and uh, stay inside as much as possible, uh, sanitizing hands, washing hands for at least 20 seconds. Um, but really the key for these people is to minimize contact as much as possible. They are at the highest risk. guidance from all the major professional bodies both in Australia and overseas is that from the heart disease point of view if people are exposed or contract the coronavirus is to continue their cardiovascular management as they had prior to it unless their clinical state dictate they require change. There's certainly no evidence that there is a real link between them and worse coronavirus illness and in fact there is um, some speculation that people with heart disease should stay on their medications because that will actually protect them more. I think the uh, confounding fact is people who are on those medications are already the ones who, are, who have other illnesses and that is probably what predisposes them to having more severe disease rather than medications themselves.